Okay, this is a quick video to kind of show the difference between the the Mine Lab CTX 3030 with a six inch double decoil and the Fisher F19 um, with a five inch double decoil. This the difference in performance on a nailboard test. This is uh, the nailboard test created by Monty Berry, and the idea is if you're you're out, say in a ghost town. And the story was that he was out at a ghost town and he found an Indian head penny sitting on the surface between nails just like that. And um, it's a good test to kind of show iron discrimination, how, how different machines can, uh, can uh, behave on, on this kind of a test. Um, it's not a test for all situations, but definitely for, for a situation where you're in a lot of iron around a lot of nails, things like that. Okay. Okay. So first, I thought I'd show my my CTX. I just got this. I just have it like a two tone Ferris program. The screen wide open. But what I did do is I I discriminated out that little corner, and that's pretty much all where the nails are. I'll swipe it over the nails. I just uh, and show you. I'm over here. So it's just discriminating out the nails, no sound whatsoever. Um, so let's try it with the penny now. Put the penny in the middle and see how the CTX does. Okay, I got the penny, Indian head penny in the middle of the nailboard test. Um, the numbers uh, represent different uh, swipe patterns. So let's start with number one. Go nice and slow. You can just barely make out the the penny in there, but you can't hear it. Enough to zero in on it. So, I'd say swipe pattern number one, it passes. Swipe pattern number two, all you hear is that nail. Maybe just a little bit, you can zero in on it. Swipe pattern number three, Maybe every other swing or so, you might be able to lock in on that. And swipe pattern number four. Nothing. Okay, so now I have my F19. Um, and the, the pattern I'm using is kind of a two-tone pattern as well, but as you can see, I have it discriminated up to 32, and that's right about where those nails, the top part of where those nails are reading. So the nails should be discriminated out. Everything else should be reading. And if you go over just the nail, see, I'm not getting anything. Let's see how it does with the penny in the middle. Hits it every time on pattern number one. The signal I'm getting is a little bit lower, but that's, or the, the ID I'm getting is a little bit lower, but that's just because of the nails. So really this test, you're going by audio. Pattern number two, hits it every time. Pattern number three. It's hitting it, it's making a little bit of weird noise. Really, I would probably stop to investigate every one of those sounds, though. Pattern number four. So I hope that kind of shows the difference between the two machines and uh, this little nail board test. It's a fun test to do on different machines. Uh, try it out and, and uh, just see how each machine performs. Thank you.